came here tonight uh, for two reasons. One, because I want to salute those of you who have stood up for yourself and stood up for your co-workers and stood up for workers in general. It, it's not easy. It takes courage. The people who take a leadership role, the workers who actually stand up, deserve enormous credit. And I want to give you all that credit. The other thing I want to say is that I, I came here because this is so damn important. Workers around the country generally are watching what is going to happen here. The underlying reality is that if workers don't have power, if they don't have a voice, inevitably their wages and benefits start eroding. It happens inevitably, piece by piece, step by step. You lose a little bit of sick leave, you lose a little bit of health care, you lose a little bit of this, you lose a little bit of that, and it is a slippery slope and it never, never ends. Meanwhile, you've got executives, and I'm talking about all over the country, I'm not talking about Calpine specifically, I'm talking all over the country, top executives, they're doing better and better and better. Base pay, millions of dollars. <clears throat> you include their stock options and everything else, we're getting up to tens of millions of dollars. Now, that's not bad in itself, that's not bad, but I'll tell you something, there's something wrong in this country when workers are seeing their wages and their benefits erode and people at the top are doing better and better and better. And it's happening because workers are losing their ability to demand better treatment, higher wages, a piece of the pie. This is not anti-Calpine, this is not anti-company. Every company I've been aware and involved with that has recognized their unions and treated their workers and their unions well, actually that company does better. Why does the company do better? Because the workers have a voice. Because people feel that they're part of something. They don't feel like they are just a cog. They don't feel taken advantage of. Given that voice and given that dignity and given decent wages and benefits, as that pie enlarges, those workers get a bigger and bigger piece of that pie, and that is good for everybody. So what you're doing is really important. And what you're doing is not just relevant here, it's relevant all around the country. There's a basic reality that is being lost on a lot of managers and a lot of top executives and on Wall Street. And that reality is, if workers do not get good pay and benefits, they're not going to be able to turn around and buy the goods and services that are being produced in this country. One reason we are still in the gravitational pull of the Great Recession is because people, so many average working people, simply no longer can afford to buy the goods and the services and the products that America produces. And we can't rely on exports. We have to rely on our own market. And so it's in the interest of management, it's in the interest of companies to treat their workers well. Workers are consumers. We're all in this together. It is not a zero-sum game where either they win or they lose or workers win or workers lose. No. Even if you're at the top of the heap, you're going to do better with a smaller percentage of a rapidly growing pie than you are with a big percentage of a pie that's not growing. In unity, there is strength. The labor movement in this country Guaranteed by the 1950s and 60s and 70s that people would have a good and decent wage and good and decent benefits. That they would be part of the growth of this country. And the loss of that ideal jeopardizes not just all of us, but our kids and their future. So you're not doing this just for yourselves. You're doing this for this country. You're doing this for workers. You're doing this for future generations. <clears throat> this is important. 
spread the word. And again, my thanks to those of you, of those of you who are standing up and standing up for yourselves and others. And anybody who's on the fence, I understand, and I urge you to join with your brothers and sisters in getting a union. Thank you.